I'm super torn on who will win. With the e I just don't know how much stock to put in the EG game. I'm thinking this one, we, we get another tight match, right? 16-13 with some really crazy rounds. Not the most momentum for either team that whole entire time. There's two know. great nuke teams going head-to-head. -head. Yeah, this this could be... I think this might be one of my... This might be the favorite map of the day. This matchup right here, especially the second time around. Should get better. Jabby down after one. Two guns, one kill. Bobbin inside sight. Hanging on with that bomb. Here comes Tabson with the headshots. Crimbo's going to offer us one. How about two? Very nice, clean pistol round for Big once they got footing on that A site. Made him look like EG right there. Oof. Oof. Man, they're still in the building. Yeah. I feel bad. And... I just feel bad as like a North American. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, complexity beat Navi yesterday. That was cool. You can ride that high for but a little more. That's the thing. Now it's lifestyle creep, you know? I expect these results now. Mm. Blame it on the European. Yeah. It's they are, they're responsible for everything anyways. Especially pickled things. Yeah, pickled who knows what. Ooh, little gap on that one. So Stown's on high alert that somebody gets by, but with these pistols and the sharpness that Tabson has been able to offer us so far today, it's looking good for big outdoors. Inside, different story. Shush connects with the Desert Eagle. I like that. Little flash for himself to peek down beneath. But he's met by smoke, so no vision for Shush. Tabson's getting dangerously close as Shush starts to peel away towards the B site. So Tabson going to ensure that nothing can go too poorly down on B. Impeccable timing. And there's no real fast way for Tessas to get down here. So what can Shush do? Ooh, I feel like not a lot. He's in a tight spot. Pinned into the wall. Yeah. Tessas comes out from wherever the hell he was hiding. See what he can pick up downstairs, if anything. So, big 2-0 start on the T side. Smooth start, taking that momentum from EG and pushing it right onto Heroic. Yeah, does does help you get you warm. Crimbo, specifically. Had a nice turnaround. Yeah, yeah. I really hope, you know, no matter what happens, we see Yabi have a good... I mean, I feel like I, I hold Yabi to a high standard. I mean, based on the games that we saw that he played well in, I think the stats have definitely been up and down for him, but we saw great moments from him on the on the flames in kind of very clutch moments. Like for example, when Yabi when they played against Imperial in that game, there's like Vertigo overpass yeah. on the horizon or to whatever. To get to the Antwerp major, Yabi just had so many critical moves over and over again. And I mean, that's Imperial. It's not really a team we're talking about right now. But at that moment, they they had just beat Cloud Nine. They were playing really well, and uh, in terms of pressure, that was absolutely the most pressure that the Flames had ever been under. And that's where Yabi showed that, like, that didn't even matter. Like, he was going to play creatively. He was going to play free. He was going to hit hard shots. He was going to be very fast. So that made me a Yabi believer for sure. So looking forward to seeing this kind of roster move worked out. Even though with refresh, they'd probably be better right now. Oh, okay. Let's go. Birthday surprise. Oh, uh, we got another one on the field. Cadian wielding it towards ramp like when we look at the cologne results of course there's no way they would go out in groups if they had refresh on the team right they would have been uh favorites to make it as far as you know quarters semis and potentially final there was even an outside chance they could win you know may maybe not with phase and navi in the form they were right but get close yeah they're they're in that conversation yeah i think um it's fair to say they, they didn't do well with that initial move they didn't get the honeymoon phase with yabi Down goes the second Zeus, so it's just going to be whether Stown can find one in lobby and had a chance, but Keto turns it on him 90 degrees as Big continue to crank up the heat. 3-0 for a T-side nuke start, exactly what you're looking for. The power of Zeus. Jeez. Look how it connects. Yeah, it's oh, a, a cross of electricity. Oh, because it... Oh, wow. God. Wait, was that Wait, two? did it connect to the person above? Whoa. We couldn't see him because the HUD. Yeah, that's some interesting physics right there. Do, do physics apply to electricity? I think so. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, I probably... Did they get to the quantum level? Man, we sound so smart. Yeah, physics apply. There were two. There were two. There was ice. 
already down secret, but met by a smoke. So good utility usage here from Heroic to just kind of cool off. It was a pretty, uh, pretty bolsterous big. Thrown themselves at those secret stairs. Because, like, the way that uh, electrons and photons behave, that's like quantum, right? Sure. So. Mm-hmm. And then the nucleus. And, uh, you know, it's all about photosynthesis, really. We can move on. Please. Cadian sliding into the depths of this B site. But, listen, Big have also kind of cooled off, so... But he creeps crawling to the 45 second mark. First kill comes in from Favin. Molly could get dropped on Kadian technically, but so far he's been allowed to hold on to this pocket. Site's actually under question with Tapson coming out decon. No kill for the Danish I game leader. Now with no kill, it kind of feels like no chance. So maybe they just let this one slip by, right? First real gun round from Heroic, and you don't want those rifles to mean nothing. Mm -hmm. Three potential saves on the cards. Damn. Well, this helps to save EG's reputation a little bit, you know? If Big just toss Heroic up like they did with Big, or with EG, then uh, we feel a bit better with that loss as a continent. Misery loves company. Best map in the game right here. Nuke? Yes. It's a good opinion. Okay. This down hangs on, but so will all five players. We should find something to disagree on. Oh, I'm sure we could. I'm sure we could, Launders. I didn't like that juice you bought me today. It was a protein shake. Mm. Too many vegetables. <laughs> yes, it was called the Green Shield. But I chugged it anyways, because vegetables are important. Yeah. So are winning rounds. Now you're going to live a couple extra hours. I'm down. Shush has brought in the old Nova. Bit of 12 gauge on that A floor. Excuse me. He's on the hut roof. Big going to play this one very clumped together. Now, we've already seen a lot of emphasis from Big towards those secret stairs, so to see Kadian down there already is a nice look, but he's got to deliver, right? Wasn't able to catch a kill inside that B site last round. Right timing on his peak. You could catch him sleeping. Oh, nice. Finds Tabson, but isn't able to escape. That's Molotov's it. layered, and Kadian just burnt to a crisp in an instant. Yeah. I was going to try to weigh if that was worth it, but we are, there's just not enough guns here, so... It might have been, you know, a risk you take only in this situation specifically. So we'll see where these deagles are at, but it's ever, with everyone upstairs right now. And it doesn't feel like their itinerary says that they're going to end lower. It might be hard to close this out. So at last round, we'll see it again. Big just crawling closer to the B site. It's one thing to stop Tabson finally. He was 8 and 0 before Acadian clipped his wings. Tess confirms, yes, they are coming here yet again. We'll see what degree Heroic decide to scramble for this bomb site, but by the looks of it, just keep that one M4 in the hands of Stown. Maybe risk the shotgun and the Deagle. Barring a couple of kills, it's looking like a big 5 0 start. Let's see if they keep going outside, keep working it towards secret. This was very clean, but, you know, not the most resistance. And Yabby will go ahead and pick up that uh, M4, which is a nice find. Searson had a big clutch earlier. And I think he, he still has to kind of cement himself as like, I think he needs a top 20 placing with lands. You know, I think that does matter for Searson. He's obviously insane. But uh, the big do play a few fair few online cups and have a lot of online games in there in their history and some of their big wins are online, you know, so they still do have to, it's not that they're looked at it purely as like an online team or anything, but definitely still one of the teams that are like better online. Yeah. It's where their best results have been. Yeah. Like we had heroic win a land this year. We also had cloud nine win a land this year. Big turn, not more than one. And even that I doubt. Well, they're on their way. Whoa, then. On their way to winning, I mean. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
acceptable answer. So they're on fire with that 5-0. Guns back for heroic. Full-fledged weapons. No Novas. Shush even has that AK saved from the last round, but he also gets tagged to 56 to start. Kadian not quite in secret stairs this time, but I believe Stown's just tucked in the corner of secret, so not looking for a fight. Just, yeah, holding off and holding and waiting and allowing Kadian to instead hold that deep garage angle. Yeah, I think yeah, they're going to go try back to outside, which I think is really great. Kadian's watching for that mini drop, and I think... And, and yeah, it's down inside a secret. This covers a lot of options. I love the setup, of course. Not necessarily weak in any one place. Upper might be more attractive. If they smoked out mini, it might be hard for them to get help, for example. But there's still two players here to defend, which is sustainable. Soon to be three. Kadian decided to pull off of Garage with those smokes down. Well, they are going to move it back. You said it. Maybe A looks good, but they don't pounce on it immediately. And now suddenly Heroic have read into the timing, so they stack oh, up appropriately. Molly's making Kadian uncomfortable. Tessa stops Keto at the very least, and Gabby decides to get aggressive here inside the lobby. Searson's gonna cut him down, and it's a quick redirection down ramp no. where Tessa could have gotten stopped. But Stown gives him cover and big rocket back once more. Wow, this is very confusing. There's actually still enough time to try this, but I don't think they're going to anymore because it's 4v2. They're going for the confusion tactic. Because I'm confused. <laughs> well, it started outside, then I it went into lobby. They leaned towards ramp and back again. Yeah. yeah. No I opening. I can't, I can't tell what they were going to, what they wanted the most, I guess. Because they actually looked like they were prepping for outside completely. I don't think they had any inner presence for a second. Then they take it here. They don't get their kill here. Stown finds one vent. Yeah. So I guess they're, they are trying to split lower ultimately when they see this rotation. I guess they get confused maybe seeing Stown here and then wondering how many players are downstairs. So they just canceled and went back. And by that point, they just lost too many players. So, okay. Yeah, the setup is uh, very solid from Heroic. I mean, I think two of the best spots on CT side of Duke, the back of Big Garage and Secret, and they use both of them. Searson saw that. Just because of option coverage. Yeah, they're copying and pasting Secret again. I like it. Like when we watched the EG game, we wanted kind of an immediate response because Big were doing similar things more than once. Heroic just adapt right there, right here. Sign of a good team, a cerebral caller. And a strap book with a little depth in it. Tess Woof. There oh. were bodies there. More than one. And Krimbo's got himself a 2K. Wow, they just trying to clamp down on the lobby with three players, but two are dead. That's going to allow for Searson to comfortably hold back towards the trophy room, and Tess just walks right into that scope. So a victim of the Crimbo 2K into this A site. You know, last round, they couldn't find an opening no matter where they decided to go. This time, the opening comes to them. Heroic get aggressive, pay the price, and big right back to winning ways for the 6-1 lead. I think in some sense, they outplayed Heroic here because... They made it look like they're going outside again, and Stown was in secret. He waited over top of this one way. They finally mollied him again, and there was actually no way for Heroic to be sure that they weren't going to continue outside. So instead, because Heroic do not like playing blind, it's one of their the cornerstones of their gameplay, they decided to go for their lobby crunch. They do this a lot, and they push with two, and Big are waiting for this. They, they exactly wanted this reaction, and they got it. Down, trying to keep that off for Ooh, Oh wow, a nice shot. shot. <laughs> we like those. Wasn't even sure which side he flicked to, to be yeah, honest, for a second. Yeah. But uh, ultimately, no op saved or move forward. So Krimbo, let's check this out. Gets Ooh. caught by the peak, keeps it going. Just yeah. saw Jabby's shoulder, so easy. You know, reinitiation. Pretty nice shot. That they, they actually were. They're going back towards Se Squeaky, but they weren't ready for it at that one moment. So just a beautiful shot from Krimbo. Heroic. Everything on the line in this one. There's no op because it wasn't saved and couldn't be afforded. Or could have, but Kadian decides to keep some cash. Searson with the opening. Again, they go to outside, and this time with definitely a faster tempo. Yeah. Huge tempo. They've got here rotations coming down, but if you're heroic, your number one fear is over rotating in this spot. As soon as it goes quiet again, you go, damn it. They aren't rushing. 
I'll be keeping their options open. And now they forced Heroic to gamble. It's a gamble that could pay off. You yeah. see the Heaven Presence? Maybe still an option, but wow. Okay, Keto. Very clean first one. Sees down upstairs when normally he's been elsewhere, so that could be the sign to just really commit down to this B site with Bomb, and Favin's got an escort if he wants to go. Krimbo's the insurance policy over towards ramp. It's a vent or nothing for Heroic. Dude, they did it again, man. Yeah, like you said, Stown committed right there in Mustang, or Fur, I guess, specifically. And, okay, Shush makes a good rotation Ooh. with two kills. Said vent or nothing, Shush decides to slide down it. Oh, a third wow. from Shush. Big impact. Around they have no business winning. Around that it looked like they could have just whimpered through lobby and gone for the save. Instead, Shush <laughs> decides to silence them four kills when, when he could have just left, justifiably. Damn, that was a wicked shot. Part-time opping. Even if, even if Shush sta shaved, saved it at the end. Yep, Shush, the uh, individual highlight of this map so far. Round winning play. But you gotta follow up with it. Still, critical turning point that could have been had Heroic just lost. What's Keto wanna do? Keto absolutely lights out versus EG, bullied them across Mirage. Yep, and a couple good kills already here on Nuke. Looking for it here inside the A site. Gets a good amount of spacing. Jabby back site. Uncomfortable, but escaping somehow, some way. <laughs> Goes all the way back around the smoke. Won't be able to find Tabson as he comes out from Squeaky. Stown is dangerously nearby, and he's going to commit to that one. A double for Stown, and now Krimbo into the 1v4. He's got plenty of time. Bomb nearby, but so many opponents already on top of him that Heroic's CT side now has a chance to bloom. Indeed. Yeah, their money could have got crushed that previous round. Now they're on their feet. They've got their accounts together. they got to be feeling good. Good cover from Tessus and Yabby taking care of himself. Getting back through the smoke after eating the second flash, jumping through the smoke again that they used to put out the Molotov that landed backside, and then winning out on his duel versus Keto. That helped stabilize. Cracks in the big economy. Single deagle here for Keto, and he's dead in an instant. Shush finds himself back on the kill feed. Eyes of big fall back on outside. Kadian, very comfortable with the angle. Sees the barrel. Ooh, collateral wow. that nearly takes down Searson. The spam Ooh. from Stown's gonna finish that one off. And now Heroic are starting to hit a slot, hit a groove. A nice one two. Tessus on the NAF. Won't be able to get the better of Krimbo. No, NAF is the orange box. Oh, specifically dude. very far up, right? It's alpha, alpha male behavior. It's Stand those, on the orange box. It's those sloth claws, you know? He can hang on where no one else can. Right. Yeah, but just shoulder peeking. Whoop. Falls it back. And big left. Trying to find an opening elsewhere. Smoke grenade, at least. That gets picked up. One more piece of utility for the puzzle, but... Dwindling amounts of time makes things weird, and maybe we just start going into the save because, as alluded to, that big economy, it was all in the line right here, right now. Very impressive for Oak to get back into this game. So that's a the nice combination between a nice individual play paired by good adjustments that end up winning rounds. Kadian wins this with his collateral damage, right, first of all. They try to go for a mid-speed cross this time instead of running all the way. They press up against red. They skip, I think, just the first lurk smoke across, and then they try to throw the fast ones, but Kadian has a really good deep angle. Counter terrorists win. Counter Strike's 10th birthday. Happy birthday, Counter Strike. Hell yeah. CSGO is 10th. Did you play CSGO on the day it was released? If I asked you 10 years ago today, what were you doing? Was it playing Counter-Strike? Yes. Good for you. It was a pile of shit. <laughs> You've come a long way. Here's to 10 more. It's two AKs, coupled with some pistols, but it's down right at it. That's one of the guns already down as well. So 
Now Stown's not going to give Big any chance to catch their breath. No room to breathe. Continues trying to fight up close versus Searson. That other AK's in the hands of Krimbo, so solo little ramp play from him. Oof, and the P250 last bullet headshot. That's what a sniper's sidearm can get done. He extends his arms, grabs the M4. Kadian comes clearing the corners inside ramp, but Krimbo is still just waiting for the lobby flank. Tessa's walking up. He's going to get caught. He had just looked over to the left to potentially clear that deep corner in ramp room. Dink through the wall twice. <laughs> Jappy's so low, and that next one almost finds him. Can't stand anywhere these days. Uh, German deagles, I tell you. Yeah, these are like the 1.6 mouse sports deagles on nuke. That suddenly evens this out, right? All the damage versus Tabson, like barring the weapon that Tabson doesn't have. Krimbo didn't see that. Jeez. A sliver of Cadian on display and Krimbo doesn't catch it. Molly's going to burn some critical time off the clock and then Jabby comes back around through lobby. However, little misdirection. We've got Searson inside A site. Bombs heading down to B. Searson gets found out. And now Tabson, his only chance is to come up, vent, try to get the kill inside of Hut, and maybe get a bomb plant here. Yeah, he could plant side Tetris, but they have no reason not to peek him. I, I, no, that one gets a little weird, and Tabson's going to pay the ultimate price. Luckily, it doesn't die after time. Yeah. But also doesn't get the plant here for the money on big side. I think he knows he's going to die, but if he goes outside, then maybe they... They don't kill him and wait till after. It gets a little scarier, so that's why he goes for the plant there. Nice, sh nice shots here. Oh, nothing more annoying than this. A current. Take a look at the top of the screen at the moment, folks. It's been a hell of a turnaround from Heroic. 6-1, once upon a time. Now the Danes find themselves one round away from being on fire. So, big open gap outdoors. Down tries to commit for the second kill, but Tapson's got the trade frag very quickly wrapped up. Yeah, they've interrupted the smoke a couple of times here, so caught him off. Wow, her deep. Keto's gonna walk right into that one. Silver platter for Kadian. Almost falls back into the mini peaks, which could have cost him. Babins by Vent, Shush catching the kill from above, and that's gonna activate Kadian as he goes hunting for this follow-up. Nicely done. Finding Bobbin, taps in outdoors, three health, and still able to silence Shush. Kadian's going to peek into this, and that's going to be the end of that. Nice three kills from Kadian, multiple positions across the map, one of them up close and personal, and Heroic tie this game six rounds apiece. It's a calm game with explosive moments where Big are playing really well, and Heroic are keeping up. It's shaping up for a, a hell of a map here so far, and this is a, a massive round from Kadian. Straight to the neck. Yeah, good zoning here. Molotov into... Mini after his first flash, make sure it's safe. And then he tracks down his third and final target as well. So, and then also I think a, like a core part of the game plan with the outside crosses, that's been quelled completely. So, ooh, big pistols now. Oh, very quick. Gabby regains vision. Won't be able to catch more than that one kill. There's life on this one here for Big, but Stown gets through, slides through that smoke and makes sure he finishes what Shush started. Keto, one versus three. Sliding past that smoke, a little gap in it. Ah, but two players on the other end. And he gets owned. Iced out, finished off, an explosive pistol push attempt, but no gas on that one. Yeah. I think uh, seeing the tech, probably the last time we see that, this half, if it doesn't work. And where do they want to go? We haven't seen many fast vent drops or ramp hits. Crimbo up top, down by half health. Oh, they're trying to do Canada. What's that? It's the the twist, the, tw the twist. Oh, okay. Yeah, apparently Kerrigan has named it Canada. Hell yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, be blind as a bat. Big. Haunting outside. Quietly, they wait. Searson hoping somebody sticks their head out. So the, the, the reason you put the squeaky pressure on like that, they drop the smoke in front of it and they throw their nades, blow the door open, is so that the mini guy, there's so much noise that you can drop off the silo, get into mini. But also the mini guy is just tied up because if anybody explodes through it, then he has to look forward. So 
They tried that tactic and failed. They didn't lose a player. They did lose some HP. And now they finally get him. So Krimbo dies. The guy who was supposed to come out really fast. But a trade here. On the T side off of Searson. Shush going to keep it committed to the corner. Two players coming at him now. He's caught in the open. Goes down empty handed. Mini fight doesn't go the way of Javi, even though he hits the headshot. Oh my god, this what is, is clean. Insta kills coming out of big, three in a row, one after another. Even though the headshots are there versus Tabson and Keto, it's just not enough. So big kind of squeeze in multiple directions. This is going to be a 4v5 into the four versus one, and Katie gets spotted when he comes out from vent, so big are not done yet on this T side. Well, beautiful. Trust you exist any kind of smile a little bit. I haven't seen that from Searson. I will always remember that time Tabson gets this crazy pistol round at one of the blast events. Pops off while in the big office. Searson just stayed seated while the rest of the team were all jumping around like madmen. So nothing will defeat that. But the speak Mamba, of the devil, Mamba Searson's dead. Yeah, okay. He's gone. Done already. Four kills between Heroic and a lead at the end of the CT side. And that right there is a total stuff on Squeaky. Tabson tries to recover it, but not quite the one-man army that they needed. And then Krimbo just gets owned from above. So yes, sure enough, a small edge for Heroic as they will start their T side after the break. Look. I got hit by an ambulance in Germany. That sounds convenient. At least it was right there. We almost died. I was in an uh, Uber with James Bart off that machine. Oh my god. It was raining and it was dark. Okay, well, don't do that again. Yeah, well, uh, they hit me, so. <laughs> we'll see if Heroic can uh, start this T side with a little momentum. They get caught trying to push into the lobby, so that's excellent for Jabby and Kadian. Oof, but just as quickly as they get the two kills on the advantage, it gets clawed right back. Searson Cerebral as Kadian tries to go for the Goomba Stomp, perhaps. Flies out of heaven to his death. Tess gets iced out, and now it's going to need to be the Stown 1v3. Point blank, he finds Searson. Good start. Krimbo towards Decon. Oh, sharp as he needs yeah, to be. Yeah, got to be hyped about that. Big picking up both pistols in this BO1. Not bad. Great shot, Searson. That's a fast one from Turnpike. I want to see Katie and get plucked from the sky again, please. Yeah. It became weightless in that moment. Look how quickly he just ran outdoors for this. Is he ready for it? Nice! Why do you make noise when you hit the ground if you go through any objects? I don't know. Thought we established this. I don't understand science. Mm -hmm. Quick one. Heroic. Three Mac 10s. And they've got a bunch of bodies downstairs already. Time to watch Tapson. Stops them on both sides. And then shush through that smoke. Catches the straight Deagle headshot. So that's at least the bomb picked up. The bomb is right there with it. Favin, though, not going to let him get away with more than two. And so Yabby and Tessess. Man disadvantage, no bomb control, but at least a minute and 20 to work. Great angle here for Searson to hold. And this position doesn't have to worry about any lurky plays and can hold this for a very long time. He'll spot one. Yeah, he takes some damage. Mac 10. Not going to be a chance you win that, is there? No, not ideal. Searson knows this. He'll follow up. Actually start to go for the push. It looks like they're going to try to make a, a line of smokes. Let's call this the, the snake strat. And they can try to walk into it and get the bomb. He doesn't get it, though. Nope, missed it. Second try. Oh, ah, awkward. <sighs> that was his chance, and his chance is ripped right away, as is the lead. Big to nine. Yeah, great coverage on the fast tactic here from Heroic. They covered everything. Ooh, the energy's there. It's always nice when you run around like this and taps in leader of the team. Literally and in spirit, bringing that energy Perfect positioning next to the double door, right? You see it swing open. Shots are so close, but he's got just enough cover to take that second with him. Yeah. They can see now a big win on the horizon. If they stabilize after this pistol. Two AKs in play here between Stown and Yabby. Got B popping off. Brought up that conversation about how big as an organization has just tried to keep every single you know, positive element of German Counter-Strike in their camp and got B to the, you know, main coach role. 
Yeah, they hired the whole damn country. Anyone worth their weight? They need a Schwit, Schwit Fap sponsor. <laughs> it's very hard for me to say. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate the effort. Hold it off. Dink versus Stown's not enough to end him. So one of the two AKs here for Heroic. Not a round they're supposed to win. And Tabson, we already saw what he could offer us on this B site. Lines up two, but Yabby keeping his head down. Pushes Fogman into an awkward spot. A second Ooh. kill from Yabby off that AK. And what do you know? B site compromised. Just as big thought things were going their way. Heroic smash him with the double AK buy. I was I was just about to say we you know we need to see a little bit more from Yabby, I think, overall. You know, coming off Cologne into the break. I can't help but feel like he was grinding. I, know, I feel like he wasn't one of the ones taking like an enormous vacation or anything like that. But I mean he could have been. And he was entitled to. I'm just saying, uh, from what we understand of uh that whole team of Copenhagen Flames, some of the biggest nerds in Counter Strike. <laughs> grinding out face hits, finding out new things about the meta, pushing everything to its limits. That's the only way to get top eight of the major with no top twenty players, right? Yep. So and yeah, being the and the core of that team. Wouldn't be surprised if he was grinding through the break, but Yes, coming into Heroic, this is kind of akin to joining Furia, right? It's the the European Furia, um, and that's a hard team to join. I think that would be the hardest, probably, team to try to fit into because there is structure there, but there's so much. There's more fluidity on Heroic than there is in basically any other team in terms of how fast they do things, how many things they do quickly. That comes down to the CT side, but look at the spacing. Very good here. Instant... No investment. So Searson holds on to his money to get his op. Probably going to see some ingenuity on this big spy from the CTs. Set up a, a few different places outside. Boosting on the top of red. Interesting. Perfect. In oh, fact. that's free. <laughs> yes, down just gets rocked. Good chance there for Keto to have caught Tess but it's going to be a one and done from Keto's rifle. That's makes Put pressure on Krimbo, and he delivers. And unlike the first fight outside, we didn't have to deal with anybody else. Krimbo, it's just a one and done. I love that position. I mean, when they saw the people oh. outside, it makes sense to do. Oh, the timing here. Yeah, but Tabson misses them, and this works out to his favor for sure. Yeah, look, they're playing around with their grenades, fumbling in pieces, and Tabson's not going to let off that W key. Of course, Heroic have the freedom to run if they want to. There's but zero chance they watch their flank after just being there, so... They're I more nervous that Krimbo's pushed up from ramp, so Tabson, not going to milk the moment, just stops Kadian, puts the bomb down. More info being heard here. Tessas looking to just escape, wants to scamper into this A site. Both players trying to go squeaky, oh. Tabson's going to come back, dropping the bomb. If Shush is able to escape with it, maybe he can get a desperate plant, but that's big, winning a round with only two rifles. They were going to buy anyway. They didn't even force it down. They had two rifles to work with. Oh my god. Yo, God B loves let's, counter strike. Let's go. He is uh, bringing that energy. So I I love specifically love this angle. We saw Searson play here before. But in this situation, I like it even more because it's great for the walkouts, first of all. If they flash and stuff, you don't have that much cover. So you have to turn if they throw one that bounces deep. But in this spot where they spotted people outside, it's natural to think, okay, try to take some space at ramp, see what's going on there because we didn't see anything outside. So I think a very nice choice from Big. Good little bit of back and forth here from Big, not letting Heroic sink their teeth into this T side just yet. Krimbo kicks it off with the only rifle here for Heroic. Drops it in an instant. Searson's going to take up the mantle, but he's going to get swarmed. Point blank by the pistols. Now a second gun in the hands of Heroic. Can we get a replay on that shot? Joey, chop chop. That, <laughs> that looks... Looks... Looks good. Oh, this angle's really good, too. He's got some bait as well. Yeah, perfect. Oh. Krimbo, easy double kill. Now Stown's posting on him, though. So the pistols are dead, but the guns are still alive and kicking. I love that Favin doesn't just stay back in control, slides into these fights, and Shush likes it, too, because he puts the barrel of the Deke to the forehead of Favin. Little 1v3 attempt from Shush with one kill already collected. It's Keto alone back sight. Oh, that could have been the one. Now Keto's just going to try to buy some time with utility, and Shush ejects through control.
potentially up to the A site. He does have that option, but look who's already here. That is huge from Keto. Well done. Good awareness, man. I mean, he could have stayed there and expected his teammate to go back, but he immediately connected that smoke to Decon. And when he blocked himself off vision, he said, okay, I'm going to get info. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Fair play. Fair play. Fair play. Nice dig. Shush. We are, are seeing a ferocious big. The, the bear is Rory. You know, when we saw Fobin come out of control into that fight, it feels no longer a problem. Actually, excuse me, spoke too soon. Katie and still with just the P250. What are they doing back there? Yeah, I'm not sh sure exactly. Pearson. Not the most comfortable start to the round with all the utility that's kind of sprinkled around him, but oh, as he goes back, Stown's posted on it. Searson just kind of getting isolated by all these smokes, Molotovs to start. Ay yikes! Wow. Absolutely recovers that. <laughs> I can't believe he swung into that while he was reloading. Wow. I mean, that's supposed to be Tabson dead every day of the week. Yeah, sure. A graceful recovery. So, this round's still a live wire. Bobbin looking for his fights. They're worried about outside, but it's really squeaky that's getting emphasized here. Two CTs back sight, off included. Bobbin gets there in the end, and then gets his second one much cleaner. Shush is the only piece left of this puzzle. Yeah, that rotation is crazy. Two out of heaven into the upper site with the op as well. They call out heroic. Shush going to be floating around in no man's land. Krimbo trying to spot him. Tabson dead. Nice shot from Shush. What the hell? Last bullet snaps it down. That's huge amounts of damage versus Krimbo. And had he hit that headshot, that then Shush cool. is in a position to clutch that 1v4. Yeah, it's almost over, actually. Damn. Right, he goes downstairs. And that's where the committing upstairs is actually a mistake, and there's no way you could read that. That was very close. Nice try, Shush. That shot in heaven looked like an online shot, but we're all playing. Right. Yeah, last bullet on that. Just snaps it away. His sixth sense telling him he already had the kill. Bigger fragging right now. <laughs> God be great. Ooh, tough. A little desperate here from Heroic, but Tech Nines are a wonderful thing. It's down from across the room. Oh, but Searson's not going to let Shush get out of there. And Searson loves a ramp wall bang. Yeah. He already got some practice on the jumpers. Oh, ah, Keto. That's not a comfortable spot to be in. Goes for the wild spray. Tags Kadian down to 53. He's going to call for his two teammates to come back into the A site and fall in point blank. Only good for one of the two on Squeaky. Searson caught with a nade out. Oh, Stown through smoke catching Keto. He knew he was there. But Stown's done everything to set up Kadian in this clutch. Four kills from Stown. A one-man army from the Tech 9 to the AK to the 2v1 for Heroic. Molly to the back site, meant to make things uncomfortable. Tapson's got them burning out right into his crosshair. Finds one, does not expect Stown to be back site. And for that reason, oh, it's an ace for Stown. We were calling in Stown into question on the desk, looking at the stats so far at the groups. It wasn't looking that great. This is the land player of Heroic. Best stats on the year, year over year. With one hell of a play. Opening duel one, first of all, of course, in the ace and then swaps out to all these different guns. Oh, last bullet on that spray Every as well. Every single threat dealt with, and he's the reason that Keto smoked himself out, because he showed himself inside a squeaky. His, all his teammates die, and it's no problem. And the one final cerebral moment where he doubles up with Kadian on the back of the site. Kadian peeks first so that they don't get both fully cleared. That was actually a move by Kadian to help out Stown. Let's say he doesn't swing. Then Tapson will see them both. Cheeky play from Tapson, but looked like Shush had caught his ankles as he went into the room. So, huge potential turning point for this heroic T side. Comes off the back of Stown and an ace. But uh, Big are happy to just kind of let this one slide by. Bobbin's got the Zeus. 
We had a big individual effort from Shush in the first half that led to six, seven straight. And then now we've got Heroic pulling off a similar round, destroying the economy here a big. So that clutch is worth two already. Not going to be long for this one. Shush ends that. Heroic going to play this one very smart, very slowly. Clearing out all their corners. Crimbo shouldn't be able to offer much. Shush eventually sees him. And with that, a site belongs to Heroic. So a one-round game. But it should be a buy right back from Big, seeing as how little they invested in this one. Yeah. God, this game is good. It we is flagged good. It. We flagged it before it started as the potential, you know, map of the day. Yes. Ooh. The power of Zeus compels you. They're not watching it. For I bless thee with electricity. Who is that? Uh, Gandalf or something? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Whoever you want. Insert wizard name here. Merlin, I think that's. Yeah, the classic. All right. Yes, the, the real match begins. It has to be a T-side crawl from Heroic. A little, a little tougher here on Nuke. I think Vig are pretty happy to have their CT side of Nuke. It's definitely their strong side. And they will have a good position here where they're probably feeling a little bit better. They know they have an eye on the money now, too. They have an idea of how much money Big have probably for the rest of the half, if it wasn't already clear. But Searson does get an off. They have enough grenades. We're actually not seeing a single kit out of Big. So not playing for post plans in this round. Could lead to exciting things. Very quiet looking CT setup outside. Pressure over top. Krimbo kind of left on his own here. Oh, we've seen this mini sneak from uh, down in the past. He's getting shot off this angle. He can lurk any number of ways, and this one way, he's used it himself, and they flash him through. Krimbo gets down. Hear the drop, yeah. Okay, I mean, Stown can just lock him off now, right? If he wants to re-aggress, he has no advantage to try to do it. It's really hard to... You can't flash down either, and he's just going to fall all the way back, so... A little bit of space one guaranteed here from Heroic. Looks like Searson's about to get the challenge. Waiting for the ramp hit. Fires blindly. No contact. And now fire is going to create more space for Heroic. So. Ooh, that's a lot oh, of space. Wait, but a lost. flank. A flank down on secret stairs, I believe. Yeah, where's Stown? Captain's going for Stown. Finds him. And Favin catching Kadian. That was a squeaky peek. So suddenly, Heroic, they thought they had a little bit of momentum on both sides of the map, and then they are down to a 3v5 in an instant. 20 seconds means desperation for Heroic as Searson's finally given a chance to line up kills. Wow. And while I thought Heroic had hooks in on both sides... Well, you, you were right. They did. They had two hooks in, and then Tabson caused the disruption. He was the friction that they needed, and he found the right point of attack. Instead of just rotating blindly the upper stack or to go for ramp to help out Searson in a spot where he already lost it. He went to go deal with Secret so that either Krimbo could take it back and find out that no one was there, or they get the kill. And they also shut down any lower ramp hit or lower hit. And he can also help out and defend lower if they go by other means. And then it came back to Searson who was allowed to freely up rotate upstairs. A ton of space created on that move by Tapson. A great round from Big and not the first time in this game that and let's add even just a tidbit more with obviously fall finals being on the line confirmed in Copenhagen. You know what that means to heroic home soil. Time to crank it up a notch. Maybe they'll have more fans this time. Maybe. <laughs> you can dream. Molly outside the hut. Smoke on the backside. They're going to try to just smash their way through this, and so far, so good. Shush comes through with another. Wow. Explosive. Full magazine emptied by taps, and no one kill comes out for big. Oh, this is a free bomb plant. Is there a possible... Oh, bomb no, gets stopped through the smoke. A second. Taps and taps away. 
And as he tries to catch Jabby on that vent, he's not going anywhere till Shush puts him to bed. And Crimbo is left. And as he falls down off of this rooftop, he's going to get spotted from Secret. 13 health, never going to be enough. Heroic just swarm that site like locusts. That's crazy. What a call. What a call. A brave one to do. I mean, if they lose there, no money. They're going to be saving. And this is a round where Tessas is coming into it with five kills, and he gets two entries on the upper site. So that's why you got to keep that scoreboard unbound and just play it round by round because any little bit of impact, especially when the pressure's on at the end of the game, can make a world of difference. And here's one of those plays. Now, it looked like Tabson was going to come through with another X-Factor maneuver after a series of them already this game, but that gets shut down. There's just too many players dead already for that. And the pistols are out again for big. Hype is back, the guns are gone, and the pressure continues. Another one straight into this A site. Keto's gonna make sure Tess can only get the one. But Heroic knew what they wanted, and they got exactly what they wanted. Little X Factor here for Tapson as he wraps around the hut. It's down, not quite looking. And now there's the Heaven Peak. Uh, Krimbo decides not to. Goes through the fire instead. They're on high alert now, and so not much you can ask of him to deliver there. And Kadian from a distance ties this up. So just like we had it earlier, yep. tight game all the way, back and forth rounds. Three away from either team's win. And two explosive land calls there to hit the upper side as fast as possible. And we saw them slowly lose an eco round where they went in, into the outside stack from Big and Big were anticipating something towards the extremities and tried to set up in a similar way. Upper site was vulnerable. So they, you know, went for scissors twice and they won. And now it's more even kill, but still, this is still a much better buy for Heroic, right? I mean, big are very long grenades. They have no armor on Searson, no kits once again. Oof. Not a single Molotov to slow this round down. Limitations here, clearly. Luckily, they don't have to slow down too much. Kadian just likes the angle he's posted on. Negligible nade versus Stown. He's going to keep holding, waiting for that secret pop-up. It's Yabby with the opening. Keto's killed. Fobin, nothing more than the one. And then Tessess. You talked about that. Seven kills at one point, and now multiple 2Ks happening inside of this A bomb site in the last three rounds. Yes, five kills in total. And two of them rifle rounds. And just like that, Heroic are going to be in the lead. There's no way to get back into this. No nades, no armor on Searson. No kits to work with. Everything to save, and they're being hunted down. And this is one of those important saves, right? This will make a huge difference on this next round. So we want to keep a close watch on the events to follow. Down, sussing out all these positions. Wants to come in slowly. Teammates running in behind him, so they kind of blow his cover in this sense, but still, it looks like they'll get a fight. Trades now, though. Higher potential. Crimbo. Oh, ah. shot missed. He needed that one. Did he ever... Searson, 20 HP, as Stown dies to the bomb, and that's the open save where's on the, the B site. Where's the op? Oh, he can't find, find it. it. Uh oh. And he handed that over to the armored player. Nice pack mentality here from Heroic. Just three players side by side. Ooh. Man, look at that recovery. Man, fourth quarter plays here from Stown. Single M4 on Fob, and he's going to have to go God mode. And if you know Heroic, they don't let off that gas pedal. So immediately, we've got Stown downstairs. How slippery was that? They didn't even see him. No one even shot a bullet in his direction. Nope. Like an eel. Comes up. Deals with Tapson. Again, we only expect anything from Favin if Big can catch a kill or two. But Heroic are all over this map. Tessas would also love to find some of these fights. Just as quickly as he goes downstairs, he's ready to hit upper. Now they're getting played with. They're letting him look for more. You know, if he sniffs out a stack and sees even two people at the same time, that's just enough. They have so many players left alive. They can hit either place. They're nice and flexible at this moment. Oh. Do it. Oh, he's got the spam. Oh, he almost killed him. God damn. And now the upper hit ensues. Yeah, it was all a ruse. One pistol back sight. Measly USP in the hands of Keto. 
Nothing he can do about his destiny. Wow. Unbelievable amounts of clutch coming out from this team to bring this back. Damn. Not Big. only does Stown continue that, that, you know, momentum this whole entire time. Instrumental moments from Shush in the first half. Cannot forget that, right? After that huge start from Big. Yeah, we saw the adaptations, but we didn't see the big individual moments until Shush gets his 4K outside of Vent one round. That's what allows for Heroic to recover with a one round lead in the first half. And then Tessas out of, just out of the blue. Yes. And we can say, I think the best thing we can say about Big, unfortunately, if they lose, is that they won a number of situations where Heroic played incredibly well and they still got ahead of them. You know, from three, five situations to losing huge amounts of positioning on the map, they still found ways back in. That was the best part about all of it. But none of that matters. They don't actually close out the map itself. And now we're burgeoning on that territory. Potentially the last round of the game, heroic full strength. We haven't seen full nades from big in the last five, even when they have been buying. And it's the same story again. Searson is the only one with a kit. Okay, he gets head armor. This is their best buy. This is the best buy that we've seen so far. They're trying to stand against four straight, round 29, and they can defend against this. And it's another explosive call. That it is. Kadian wants it fast. He gets caught. Taps in point blank. Here's Fathen from the rafters. And Big, finally with a buy, finally with a little bit of control. They put a quick end to that hit into the A site. Stown getting shot through the walls. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide except for round 30. This one goes the distance. A slight improvement from their first showing. Two excellent games of nuke between these two teams. And they have exposed the fact that Heroic have relied on the upper hits in the last few rounds to be able to win. Let's see how fast Heroic want to play it. That last one tried to keep it quick. I think Kadian tried to spot that cross. Ate a flash, which was perfectly thrown. So Searson might have a small advantage on the opening engagement. Yeah, but Kadian has a teammate and Searson doesn't. Trade potential here from Heroic. Add Tessas to that equation. Smoke in front of Searson, and all of a sudden, there's a huge question mark in terms of outdoors. Yep. Not going light here. Tabson not really looking to come up through secret either. Instead, he tucks back towards the decontamination doors. Wow. Another kind of contemporary round here from Heroic with the silent outside cross. The L smokes come down. There is no pressure from Big on the cross itself, and we don't even have the early rotation downstairs from Crimbo. They're oh. waiting for upstairs and Searson dies? That's big. Kadian, he lets his teammates move forward, just waits and waits, and then sure enough, ends Searson. It's so big fighting for overtime in a 4v5. It's gonna fall on Tabson. He's point blank and it is clean. Two kills at least to recover that man advantage. Yabby's not a part of this lower hit yet though. And I think they made some noise. He's on high alert. Oh, his lurk could mean the world, and he can kind of take his time with it, but at the same time, they're even numbers. Not, they're not up, so he can't go that slowly. <gasps> wow. He just misses them. No, he comes no. back. <gasps> Bavin doesn't look. And now that's the A site wide open. Yabby makes the call. Heroic makes the redirection. And with utility on his feet, Keto burned to 68 HP. That's a plant back site. Kadian wants more, finds Krimbo, and Heroic surviving the second test from Big. Keto down 